Hello, my friends, and welcome to episode four of Mrs. A Bear's favorite folk songs. Now, today's Friday in the A Bear household. Hopefully, it's Friday at your house too. And on Fridays, we wear our spirit wear for school. I'm thinking about my Lovejoy Leopards today. I think about you every day, but especially my third graders, because last night we were supposed to get to perform our big third grade family folk dance night program. And we were gonna get to do some really fun dancing and singing for everyone's parents. And that helped me to think about what our favorite folk song should be for today. It's Alabama Gal. Alabama Gal is a wonderful folk song, super fun to sing, super fun to dance to, but it's actually not a folk dance. It's actually what's called a play party. Now this is a play party that's been performed in the Southern United States for over 150 years. That's even older than me. What? Crazy. From the 19th century. And play parties actually began in the 19th century. Might be hard to believe, but some communities in the United States on the frontier as we were settling across the country, some communities outlawed dancing. It was against their religious beliefs and it was against their community practices. But the kids wanted to do something together. So they took children's songs and took the words of those songs and made dance moves that went with them so that the singing cued the movement, called it a play party, and they got to dance. Kids are geniuses. Man, that's some pretty fun stuff. Now, the original play parties were sung with no instruments, not even hand clapping. If you've done Alabama Gal in my classroom, you know we like to clap our hands all the time when we do it. But originally, that was not allowed in play parties. And they were a popular form of social dancing all the way through the 1940s. Now we do them in music classes because there's so much fun stuff we can do when we perform a play party and there's so many great songs that we can do it to and we can learn all kinds of great music from it. Uh, my third graders learned about Lo La and Lo So with this song. Super fun. There's also some interesting rhythms in the song Alabama Gal. And these rhythms use what's called syncopation. Now syncopation is a rhythmic figure that shifts the normal accent to an unaccented beat or part of the beat. You hear it a lot in jazz music. You hear it a lot in rock and roll music, country music, but it really has its roots in folk music. And I found some really interesting music for you to listen to that this is gonna be a crazy connection to the song Alabama Gal, but it has some of the same syncopated rhythm patterns in it. This is music by the great Hungarian composer, Bella Bartok. Now, Bella Bartok lived from 1881 to 1945. He was a composer, which means he wrote music. He was a piano player. He performed on the piano. And he was also an ethnomusicologist. Now, that's a big fancy title, isn't it? An ethnomusicologist is someone who collects and studies folk music the music that regular folks like to sing. And man, that's what we're celebrating right now is folk music. So this song from the Southern United States does have a connection to this piece of music for the piano written by the great Hungarian composer, Bella Bartok. You're going to hear a repeated rhythmic pattern in the left hand of the piano. We'll only listen to a few seconds of it so you can hear it. But that is syncopation. When we sing Alabama Gal, you're going to hear the beginning of every phrase of this song starts with the same syncopated rhythmic pattern. Let me tell you a little bit about what we're listening to today. I'm going to read from my book here. We're going to be listening to the swine herds dance. Think about what a swine herd might do by Bella Bartok from his composition for children. It's a cycle of short piano pieces composed by Bartok. The Swineherd's Dance is the second volume, from the second volume, excuse me, and it's based on a Hungarian folk song. Alabama Gal is an American folk song. Can you imagine playing a piano concert where people get all dressed up, maybe pay money to hear you, and you play something based on Alabama Gal? Maybe one of you could write that. 
I would go to your concert. I would love to hear that. These pieces were originally written for children. Man, I hope there's some children listening to this right now because your music is amazing. We love hearing children's music. Hence the title of the book, For Children. Bartok revised the book in 1945. He took some pieces out and he reharmonized them. He, he kind of liked his stuff to be perfect. It's a good thing that I'm not like that because these videos would never get made. Here is The Swineherd's Dance by Bella Bartok. now for you Alabama Gal. It's not a very long song. I want you to imagine while I'm playing it that we're standing in two straight lines with people facing each other. We call that a long way set. You're gonna have a partner across from you. In my classroom I always dance with Fred Bob. He's my imaginary friend. So Fred Bob would be standing across from me. We would take two steps towards each other and bow. Then we'd take two steps back and wait. Then we'd perform a dosi do where we would walk around each other. It's pretty fun. After that do -si do the head couple, that would be the people that are all the way on one side of the set, they would get to sashay down the set and back. Super fun for them to do. And then we would peel the banana. So one line goes one way, the other line goes the other way. Make an arch. People get to walk under the arch, reform the set, and we do it again. In my class, we do it until everyone gets to be the head couple. I know, don't you want to be in the Bear's class? It's the most fun place in the world. It's where the magic happens. I hope you guys can imagine that while I am playing Alabama Gal for you and singing it for you. You'll be hearing my dulcimer again. By the way, my dulcimer's name is Cindy, named after one of my favorite musicians, Cindy Lauper, who most people know as a singer, but she also plays the dulcimer. Pretty cool. All kinds of random facts today. I think it's all the coffee I've been drinking. I hope you enjoy Alabama Gal. One day that we all get to be together again and we get to perform the dance for Alabama Gal because it, it surely is super fun. It's one of my favorite things to do in my classroom. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Try to get outside and get some fresh air. Try to listen to some music. Try to make some music. And I'll see you guys next week.